Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Baldur's Gate Trilogy. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. That's not what it is. Gosh, these microphones never pick up my laughing. Anyway, uh, welcome to an update for my channel. Yes, I'm actually doing one of these videos because apparently I give a crap about this thing. Um, uh, but in all seriousness, though, uh, first off, just want to say a humongous thank you to everybody who has been supporting me uh, throughout these uh, videos I've made so far. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers and anybody who's so much as taken a glance. It's uh, nice to know that even a passion project gets some love and attention. Um, thanks especially to uh, a friend I made on Discord. Uh, goes by the name Schofeld, uh, who was uh, someone who helped me with promoting my channel. And I've gotten a lot of requests for that since then. And I'm definitely looking into that. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually um, maybe... Thinking about doing this on the side, I still have a day job and I'm going to keep it for as long as it's needed. Um, but in the meantime, this might be something I actually want to do. And with that in mind, I kind of got into thinking I should probably look into maybe doing some other content as well. I know I haven't done a top five list in a while and I definitely want to do more of those for sure. Um, I actually like doing just five uh, items on the list. Um, they're a lot easier to make, they're a lot shorter to make, and in case I miss something, in case the commenter starts screaming at me, it's like, well, I can just make a whole other list. Another list is another video. Another video is another uh, bit of exposure or whatever. I don't know. I am so out of touch with this. <laughs> but anyway, um, so with that said, I thought I'd go ahead and go over a few projects. Um, so first off, as, uh, and you're seeing Baldur's Gate three footage right now. Um, I'm not actually doing another Let's Play that, probably not for a long time. However, um, I did manage to get word of a certain patch that managed to put in a certain type of epilogue. So here's the thing. After I beat the, the Let's Play and everything, um, the paranoid person inside me thought, maybe I should get rid of this campaign and all these save files I have because it might free up space on my computer. I don't know if that's true or not, but in any case, that's what I did. Um, because I figured, well, they are going to release an epilogue, but it's probably just going to be slides, like in the second game. You know, you'll you'll see the text box and someone's portrait next to it, and it's like, oh, they did this and this and this and this and this and this. It's something simple, right? Well, no, actually, Larian managed to fool me yet again. <laughs> I thought it was... I thought it was uh, pulling my hair out when they announced the release date for the Baldur's Gate 3 in the first place, but now it's actually a playable little bit of thing where you actually talk to people and um, there's like, I guess, another 3,000 lines of dialogue available and everybody you've had in your party will talk to you and all that stuff. And I just thought to myself, wow, an interactive epilogue? That's actually kind of cool. So I basically started pulling my hair out again because it's like, oh, great, I just deleted my old save file. But actually, it's kind of a blessing in disguise for me because it allows me to try out some of the new features that the patch put in. So I decided to do a custom uh, run, made the game as easy as possible so I can just do this on my own time nice and quickly. I also modded the ever-living trap out of the game, <laughs> as you can... Uh, some people have probably been able to tell. It's like, why does a bard have create water at the start of the game? Hey, you think that's crazy. You should see the displacer beast that comes out later. But anyway, <laughs> so that's kind of how that uh, works. I'm just going to do that on my own time as quickly as possible. And when I have everything set up, um, I'll go ahead and have that out for you guys to see. Uh, I went ahead and did a different character. I was thinking about doing my same character, same old, same old, and all that stuff, but then I thought, oh, I want to try a new place. I'll like, I want to do a bard, but I want to do a different subclass, and I'm eager to see, like, maybe a College of Swords or something? I got a half work I'm playing as right now, so, um, yeah. I thought, hey, that would be kind of fun. Let's go ahead and do it that way, and I'll just try and keep my choices as close to what I had in the original run through as possible. So yeah, there you go. Um, now on to my future projects. Uh, I don't have a whole lot on the plate, but there are some things I'm definitely going to be doing pretty soon. First off, uh, Let's Plays. Um, 
got a couple in mind. The first one I'm definitely doing is, without a doubt, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. This will be the first uh, Warhammer 40 game, K game I've played in like ages. Um, I played one a long time ago. I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called. You guys might know what it is. It's the one that's basically an RTS game, except you you basically participate in a bunch of smaller RTS battles. You can choose from like eight or nine factions or so. You basically see who conquers the galaxy and all that stuff. And it was it was actually a lot of fun. And I don't even like RTS games, so. I had a lot of fun with that. Never really got that far in it, though, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this will be my first Warhammer 40k game since then. Usually they've been like, oh, turn-based games or first-person shooters. I don't really get into first-person shooters, and the rest of their games never really seem to catch... I mean, they weren't very popular from what I could tell, or at least, you know, I never heard about them all that much. I shouldn't shouldn't rile up the fans, now should I? But anyway, um, I've been keeping an eye on various guides. Thank you to Slandered Gaming and or Tismal Gaming uh, on that subject. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like a lot of fun. I've got an idea of, of what I might want to make. Um, I'm not going to tell you for sure what it is, because even I don't know, but I will say, um, after my goody two-shoes went on Baldur's Gate, I think it would be more fun if I took a walk on the darker side and maybe uh, tried to uh, unleash chaos or something like that. That would be kind of fun. So, yeah, definitely going to go into that for sure. Um, and also, when I was uh, running around to Discords promoting my stuff, someone actually uh, requested that I try Unrail. Now, <laughs> I got that game a while ago, and for some reason I haven't really gotten around to playing it. I think I was excited at first, and then I learned that you get, like, one character, and it's supposed to be a super hard game, and I'm like... I I don't think I'll play that right now, but it's still getting updates. It's incredibly popular, I guess. And on top of that, um, it's it's getting DLC even now as we speak. It's not DLC this year, for crying out loud. So um, this person was kind enough to give me an instructional video, so I might look into that. Um, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader is definitely going to be my weekday Let's Play, where I do, like, you know, smaller episodes over five days a week. I don't know what I'm going to do about Unreal. I hate to not do it at the same time. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it... Maybe I'll do it in a weird way where I, like, put up an episode Saturdays where it's, like, over an hour long. I don't know. I don't know if people do that or not. Um, but I think that would be something to try for sure. Uh, go back into a classic game. I mean, I love the Baldur's Gate classic game, so why not this one? And finally, uh, it's for more of an episodic thing. So a long time ago, when I uh, did an older like iteration of this channel, I had a video series called Delivering My Thoughts, where I use... I basically just sat there and just talked about things that were on my mind while I had American Truck Simulator <laughs> running in the background. I'm not even kidding about that. And never really picked up too much. Of course, I don't know if Discord was around back then, but you know, I gave up on that pretty quickly. But I'm thinking about bringing that back. I actually have, uh, I just I don't know. I just thought, I want to give this a try. And I actually recorded a run of visually anyway. Um, I'm doing like a sort of uh, tutorial route, and then I do my first actual delivery. I think as long as I kind of push it towards video game topics, that would definitely be something that would make it interesting um and for those wondering why not why not do european truck simulator 2 that's more popular yes it is more popular but um i'm not quite used to the stoplights going from gr uh green straight to red <laughs> i kind of prefer it the other way but that's just me um but yeah i think that would be something worth trying out uh because there's been a lot of stories going on this year in the world of gaming and I just, I don't know, I've, I, I gotta talk about this stuff, you know, it's not gonna be journalism or anything, I don't wanna do it like that, it'll probably be a podcast at best, like, I'll have the footage running, but you don't have to watch it, you could just listen, um, just kinda got the idea from whenever I'm driving on the road in real life, and I just, you know, thinking to myself, what's, you know, <laughs> what's going on in the world, and I figured, 
uh, doing it this way would be a fun way to do that without, you know, accidentally putting myself in risk of wrecking my car. <laughs> so, uh, so there's a few projects on hand. Um, I took the week, uh, week off from work this week, uh, since I got a amateur show going on. So I should definitely have an episode of the 40k Rogue Trader, um, this, like, the day it, uh, comes out. This Thursday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, as for Under Rail, I'll keep looking um, up some guides and such. Um, yeah, I think I might look into that, and I'll see where that takes me. But in the meantime, thanks again to all of you so much for watching my stuff. Um, again, this is just more for fun, really. I, you never know. I, I might be able to make something. I don't really expect I will, considering I'm in a, I'm doing video game stuff and who hasn't done that on youtube but you know I, I don't know i'm just having a lot of fun with this and i think if i'm having fun with it i need to give it a try and that's because anything that you have fun with is definitely worth doing so thanks again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video until then take care of yourselves and farewell